Okay, I'm just testing Gemini very quickly and I'm going to be working on the deep research and I think it's really impressive how to play with it. So I'm going to ask Gemini, is AI helping language learners to develop their listening skills and see what is going to go? I think it's a wonderful tool if you want to do a little bit of research or yourself, you want to know a little bit more about things. It's going to be going online and picking up a large amount of of information so when you start putting your questions in, it's going to say, well, I'm going to be looking at certain things and you're very welcome to change it and say if you like it or not and say, I'm not happy about this analysis or stuff like that. So I'm quite happy with the content and I'll say, let's go. Let's start the research and implant again. You can ask to edit the plan if you're not happy with it. And what's going to happen now is going to be looking online at a uh, a large amount of documents and it's going to be making a summary of all the things by also giving all the references which is really impressive we have to be a little bit patient obviously there's a lot of work going in the background so you can see it's researching some websites it's got a few of them so what can i do with the content well, obviously I can read it, but I don't have to be staying in the same interface. I can export it to Docs. So if I click there, it's going to take me to Docs and I can reuse the content here. And I read it, I can print it off if needed. I'll do a PDF or something. So that's a nice thing to do. Second thing I can do, which if I click on this button, generate audio overview, I will have this appearing and let's listen to it to see what- Welcome to the deep dive. Today we're exploring something uh, really fascinating, how AI is fundamentally changing the way we learn to listen to new languages. Mm -hmm. We've got some great sources here and they paint a picture of, well, a real evolution happening in language education. Absolutely. So that's brilliant. Again, you probably are very familiar with these voices if you have been using Notebook LM before. So what I've done is I'll try to do a comparison between the two, the output of uh, the audio output in with that text and what happens if I output this text from uh, Google uh, Docs into Notebook LM. So what I did is I inputted this, all of that document into it. So I've got my source here. So you should know how it works. What I need to do, I just need to import it into it. It's very straightforward. It's going to be going into my um, Google Drive and I'll probably, or if it is a PDF, you can put anything that you need. And what I did is I um, re uh, requested the audio based on that. And funnily enough, the audio was much, much longer uh, before than the one which has been generated with um, deep research. Which one is best? If you want to have a an immediate output and probably a shorter way, there you go, is 18 minutes 54. So the other one is about nine minutes. So we have double the time here in uh, Notebook LM. So depending on what you're looking for, if you really want to have a short insight where well, you can just listen to the, the summary of the document and it could be useful, probably you will have a thorough um, inspection of the document here if, and also the advantage of being in there in Notebook LM, which, which is also obviously Google. You can ask questions uh, to the document and it's going to be taking you places and stuff. And I don't know if you know about this one, but another good thing which... Um, is taking place also in Notebook LM is the ability to be doing mind maps. So if I can find it again, that'd be pretty amazing. There we go. So this is my source that I uploaded from uh, Deep Research. And if I click on mind map, which I have also here, look at that. So I move my mug on that side and make it slightly smaller. So all the elements of my uh, document which has been generated uh, I've got them here so I've got the introduction and it's going to give me the listening active cognitive process AR transformation force in education so all I did just click on this and it's going to take me in, the, in that part of the document where it's d discussing that bit so it's really really impressive the fact that you can click on the mind map is going to take you on the part of the document where this is going to be covered so I really, really like this. And I think if us as teachers or um, as people wanted to be learning more, this is really, really good. And if you have a bit of time researching something, ask Google Deep Research to be looking for a topic. If you want um, get a document out, get a little audio thing out of it 
which is great if you want to uh, to walk around and do a little podcast of what you've been listening to you can, when you go for a walk or something you walk the dog uh, go for a jog whatever and you can listen to it and this way you can do two things at the same time and obviously you have the very long document that you can inspect are you on leisure so um associating deep research google and notebook lm i think you probably can do an amazing amazing job hope this was very useful